this video tutorial, I'm going to explain you how to perform correlation analysis in SPSS and how to interpret the results and also the limits of the correlation in behavioral sciences. Now first we see what is a correlation. Correlation quantifies the extent to which two quantitative variables x and y go together. When high values of x are associated with high values of y, a positive correlation exists. When high values of x are associated with low values of y, a negative correlation exists. Correlation analysis is not to use one variable to predict another, but to show the strength of a linear relationship that exists between the two numerical values or numerical variables. So from correlation analysis, we simply find out whether one variable is related to another or not. But why, we do, why do we need to calculate the correlation analysis? What are its objectives or the purpose of calculating correlation? The purpose of performing correlation analysis is to discover whether there is a relationship between a variables. Next, to find out the direction of a relationship, whether it is positive, negative, or a zero. And third is to find the strength of a relationship between the two variables. So we are we are going to calculate correlation or we calculate a correlation to know whether there exists any relationship. And second is whether the relationship is a positive, negative, or a zero. And third is how strong the relationship is. And how is it we are going to calculate the correlation is we have a four steps in calculating correlation analysis. The first is you need to draw a scatter plot. So the scatter plot explains you a graphical presentation of the movement of the two variables x and y. Then second is calculate the correlation coefficient. A third one is the hypothesis testing. And the fourth one is the coefficient of determination. So we'll see how we are going to calculate all this uh, four using SPSS. In SPSS, I have a data. Uh, it shows the previous close price, close price of a stock, and traded quantity, close price of a second stock, and the variable one and variable two. So this is my data set. So as the theory says, there is to run a correlation analysis. The first step is to draw a scatter plot. So now to draw a scatter plot in SPSS, we need to click on a graphs. The graphs, legacy data graphs, go to scatter plot. So here in scatter, we are going for a simple scatter, simple scatter graph. So select a simple scatter graph and we define. In by default, you have variable one, variable two. I'm deleting this. So now we are going to put variable previous price as x and close price of a stock one as a y and click OK to have a scatter plot. So in this case, the scatter plot shows you the moment of a variable x and y from its left to right in ascending order. So this is how it is a scatter. So by observing this scatter, by observing this scatter, we can say that the, the, these two variables have a positive relation. When data is in ascending mode from left to right, we will have a positive correlation. So to find out that, then we go to correlation analysis. To, an to get a correlation analysis, click on analyze, go to correlate, and we have a bivariate correlation as we are talking about the two variables. Go to bivariate and here select close price is a one stop and previous price is previous close is second one options required you can give for a mean and standard deviations click continue click okay so here is your correlation statistics so correlation is 0.933 which is a positive correlation and uh, with a significance level of 0 0.00 now when you have a correlation value of 0.933 what does it mean so we see what the correlation values are the test statistics called the correlation coefficient R measures the strength of a relationship between the variables. This measure varies from zero, no relationship, to plus one and to minus one, perfect relationship. The strength or magnitude of the relationship, minus or plus, there is if it is a minus zero or a plus zero, there is a none, no relationship. If it is between one to three, the relation is weak. Four to six is moderate and seven to nine is strong and above nine perfect so in our example we have a correlation of 0.933 
which is here. So we can say that from this analysis, we can say that we have a we have a strong correlation between these two prices. That is, a variable x and variable y. That is, a previous close and day close has got a strong correlation, and the value of a strong correlation is 0.93. So this is how we calculate, and our steps shows. First, we drawn a scatter plot from which we identified that from a scatter plot, our scatter plot shows a linear relationship that is moving from left to right, which means there is a positive correlation, and the correlation table shows you the correlation value of 0.933, which is significant and a strong. And next is hypothesis testing. How is that you are going to test the hypothesis? Hypothesis testing gives you the power value or significance value. Here in this case, the significance value is 0 0.000. In this case, also 0 0.00. So how do? How is that you are going to interpret your hypothesis value? Now probabilities that is if your significant value is less than 0 0.05, mean there exists significant relationship. If probabilities is greater than 0 0.05. Mean there is no relationship. In our case, our significance level is 0 0.00, which is less than 0 0.005. That means there exists a significant relationship between these two variables. And finally, we need to check the coefficient of determination. So what is the coefficient of determination? The coefficient of determination is the square of a correlation coefficient, that is R square. This statistics quantifies the proportion of the variance of one variable explained in a statistical sense not a, a casual sense by the other so coefficient of determination explains you the proportion of variance explained by one variable on the other variable if you look at the SPSS output here you don't have a coefficient of a determination value so we are supposed to calculate the coefficient of determination value by using a calculator so here you have a calculator and uh, by default uh, Excel, uh, the Microsoft gives you the standard calculator. Select a scientific calculator, and here, coefficient of correlation is square root of correlation. So, what is our correlation value here? 0 0.933. So, for 0 0.933, calculate the square. So, 0 0.87. That means 87 percent of Variance is explained by one variable on the other variable. That is, 87% of the times one variable is influencing the second variable. So this is how we calculate the coefficient of a determination. Now we'll see with the other example. We close it. So in SPSS, now we we'll go for a graphs, legacy dialogues, scatter dot or dot simple scatter click define select two variables here I select close price of stock one as X assuming that the price will have impact on traded quantity and traded quantity as Y and click OK so in this case you can see the variables are from left to right down left to right downward so the relationship and you don't find a linear relation as with our previous case in the sense the correlation may be negative that to weak correlation so we'll find out that so analyze correlate bivariate close price remain same traded quantity click ok then options and standard deviations are there click ok click continue so you can see here as the variables are from left to right downward we say there is a negative correlation and it shows the negative correlation negative correlation of minus 0.5656 and next is the correlation is not significant or linear that's why you are significant value is 0 0.005 which is a significant uh, but point minus 0 0.556 is if the correlation value 
then how is that you are going to interpret if correlation is between minus 0.44 and 0 0.06 we can say that the correlation is moderate we can say the significant correlation is there but there is a moderate correlation exists between these two variables now in this case in the first case we have a positive correlation in the second case we have a negative and we'll see another way uh, analysis where you don't have find any correlation so go to the graphs legacy scatter plot simple scatter define what i'm doing is i'm trying to with trying with variable one and variable two so here you can see the, all the items are clustered and variations so you won't find any linear relationship as even if it's on the right side or on the left so we can calculate the penalize correlate bivariate and run the correlation analysis so in this case the correlation is 0 0.009 which is zero that means none correlation no correlation exists if it is near to zero if it is near to zero you can say none no correlation exists between these two variables so this is how we calculate and interpret correlation using SPSS so again we will take the steps that we need to perform while analyzing this correlation analysis steps in correlation analysis first you need to draw a scatter plot second is calculate the correlation coefficient third one is hypothesis testing and fourth one is coefficient of a determination and the correlation values if it is zero non correlation if correlation value is 1 to point uh, 3 is a weak, it is 0.4 to 0.6 moderate, 0.7 to 0 0.9 strong, and 1 is a perfect. And significance hypothesis testing if it is significance value is less than 0 0.05, means there exists a significant relationship between two variables. If probability or significance value is greater than 0 0.5, means there is no relationship. And coefficient of determination explains the variance of one variable on the other. Thank you.